Good morning. I am outside of Kilfinnan and I'm in the woods on Schlieveren Mountain. And I faced the first problem of the day because I've been following the trail the whole way down. And then I found this on the road in front of me. And as you can see, it is the signage. It's the signage for the trail and it is on the ground in bits and I don't know what way to go. This here actually looks like the best route because that's not great. Um, there's a stile behind me. Um, you can't really see it there. Which takes you back out into the road but I'm pretty sure it's not that direction based on the map. So I'm going to take my chances and head down through the forest and see how I get on. That activity resumed, activity pause thing, is my tracker telling me that I have stopped. Um, this is a pretty well-worn track, so I'm pretty confident I'm on the right path. But if you don't hear from me again, uh, it was lovely knowing you. Thank you for the support. And uh, it's been emotional. Just found this on the, one of the little foot styles across the, across the river, which means I'm on the right path. It's very dark coming down through here, but it's also really, really cool. Um, and this is what it's all about. This is a real sense of adventure. Let me move up into the light a little bit. You can just see the the path in front. Oh, gotta keep going. The sun has burned off most of the early morning mist and fog. And as you can see over my shoulder here, the Galti Mountains, which aren't on my route, thankfully, looking pretty awesome this morning. I'm near the top of Schlievery. There's a, it's just it's just over here, there's a little path as I came up this from this way, there's a little path back the opposite direction up towards the top. I'm not taking that because I'm not a complete sadist. Uh, the road is going to take me over the hill into Bally Landers. I'd say I'm just under halfway. Just stopping to take in this amazing view. Uh, you probably can't see much with the sun up here. I can't really block it out, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, particularly the Galtys. I, I hope it don't give you a, a head spin uh, from all the spin around. But the Galti Mountains. I'm trying to get my thing here. Just just along here. There, that's, there we go. Um, they're not on my route. They're the tallest point in in County Limerick. So you see, just in the cloud. You've got the moor just up here. The Gatti Beg is this way. There. So it's uh, it's pretty high up there. Uh, Seafin Mountain, which we came from, is over in that direction. Uh, we were there a couple of days ago. Came down off that mountain yesterday into Kilfinnan, which is behind Schlievery here. It's really bright. The sun is really strong today. It's really warm. I've even got the jacket open because I'm, I'm too warm on the trail. Which is a fantastic complaint for the first couple of days in January. Um, it's it's dry, although it is wet underfoot, and I'm absolutely loving it today. I am particularly excited because I am looking after the at Ireland Twitter account this week, and it's really really active this morning, which is really really good. I'm delighted that so many of you are enjoying the trail, and it's going to be a really really cool week over there. So if you're on Twitter, check out at Ireland. And uh, you can keep up with me over there today as well. Of course, I will still be posting on my Facebook page and on Instagram as well. Both of those are just pretty early and you'll find all that information there. So wherever you're looking at this video, check out those three sources and you'll find out all about Sullivan Bear, the Bear of Breffney Way and my own adventures along the same route 414 years after they did it. So I reached Bally Landers and I found myself in the lap of luxury. This is where I'm having lunch. So I bought myself a sandwich on a bite to eat in the May shop across the road and there's nowhere in town to sit down in a warm spot. So I'm in a little alcove or driveway and I'm tired. But I've got to pick myself up because I've got to get to Galbally. And then when I got there we'll make a decision on how far we're going to get across the Tipperary border tonight. The slightly unrealistic plan is to make Tipperary town, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's one o'clock now, I've got three and a half hours, maybe maybe pushing it to four hours of daylight left. I'll be closer to three and a half. So I'm looking somewhere around uh, 
13 to 15 kilometers walking at the pace I'm doing across the train that I'm going at. Uh, so that leaves me past uh, past Galbally and across the Tipperary border, but not quite into Tip Town. I'm staying with uh, friends of friends in Tip Town tonight. So I've set all that up yet, but it's all kind of agreed. I just haven't quite made contact. <sighs> Gotta head off, or I'll be stuck here in the cold in the alleyway in, in Ballylanders. So catch you later on. Reached Galbally this evening, and um, friends of friends, Jim and Mary Kassan, have picked me up and have given me a place to stay for tonight, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, got to Galbally and the road signs along the Barra Breffney Way said it would take eight to nine hours to get through the Glen of Arlo, which is probably a bit pessimistic, but even if it took five or six, it was going to mean at least half of that, if not more, was going to be done in darkness and not particularly safe to be on the mountains post nightfall. So I made the decision to cut the day short around Jimmy, he came and collected me, and now I am safely tucked up in Tip Town where I will be till tomorrow morning. Back on the road nice and early tomorrow with the plan of getting through Tipperary Town tomorrow. Um, the challenge every day, and I've been on about it for weeks now, but the, for the, or for at least days, 10 days now, the challenge is to get somewhere before nightfall. You only get about uh, from 8.30 to about 4.45, so about eight hours of daylight a day. And realistically, by the time you stop to fuel and to engage with uh, whether it's cafes or shops along the way and get your supplies, you've really only got about six and a half hours of walking time. Add in a few breaks, you're looking at maybe six hours. Five and a half hours is an ideal time. I'm moving for about four, four and a half hours every day. It's really all you're going to get into those times, and I'm not the fastest. I'm not an athlete by any stretch of the imagination. So for me, uh, hitting that 20 kilometer mark every day, 18 to 22k is kind of what I aim at every day. And for most days, that's what I've been hitting. And I'm going to just keep ticking away. Uh, that 380 kilometers will come really quickly. Um, it's going to take me about another maybe two weeks uh, to get home. But at this point, it's just about staying on the road and staying in the right direction and keep putting one foot in front of the other. I'm loving it, though. Um, even when the weather's not great, it's still it's fantastic. can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, I'm going to go get a bite to eat and then sleep and then back on the road in the morning. Talk to you then.